Hello, good day, my dear students, and welcome to Alnur Virtual Learning. I'm Mr. Kelvin, and welcome back to our computer class. We are now in Chapter 6, Lesson 5, and it's about the Loops Algorithm. By the way, this lesson can be found in your textbook page 7 to 6. And here are the objectives of our today's lesson. The, objective are, the objectives are, first, to identify the use of a loop in programming, and the second one is to convert an algorithm into a code. And here are the materials needed. Your, your right-click book, your pen, and your computer desktop or laptop with a scratch application. Now, let's talk about loop. So the loop helps you repeat a set of instructions several times. In here, we have a diagram that explains the functioning of the loop. Take note, my dear students, the computer reads the instructions from top to bottom. In here, we have the blocks move 10 steps, turn 90 degrees, move 10 steps, and turn 90 degrees under the block forever. So the blocks inside the block loop will be repeated forever. And take note, since it's under the block forever, the blocks will repeat several times and it will never stop unless you use another block to stop it. Now for further understanding, here's an exercises for us to answer. So in exercise 1, it says, use the commands move 100 steps and turn 90 to write the algorithm that enables us to draw a square with the minimum number of steps. So steps 1 and 2 are given already. One is move 100 steps and the second one is to turn 90. What do you think are the other steps that we need to use? Since we're asking for a square, then we have to repeat step one and two four times right and as you all know the square has four equal sides and four right angles so we have to repeat them four times so move 100 steps turn 90 move 100 steps turn 90 and then move again move 100 steps turn 90 so now we have eight steps but still these eight steps are will not allow you or will not enable you to draw a square. We still need one more step and that step is pen down. So what is the use of this pen down? Pen down enables us to draw a line. So after completing these nine steps, using the commands move 100 steps and turn 90, then you can draw a square. Now, let's proceed to the next one. It says, use the command repeat times, then write the algorithm that allows you to draw a square. So this time, we will be using the command repeat times. So what will be the first step to use? First is pen down. Second to it will be repeat four times. Then, under repeat four times, we have move 100 steps and turn 90. So if you will notice, we have to repeat step three and four, how many times? Four times for us to draw a square. So this one is shorter than the previous one. So here's, here's the example of that activity. So using a scratch application under the category pen, drag pen down, then under the category motion, drag move 100 steps and turn 90 degrees to the right. Now, after dragging move 100 steps and turn 90 degrees to the right so that your time will not be wasted, just duplicate them and try to make four copies of it. And after completing the script, then you have to click pen down and you will see the result there you have it here's 
another example. So this time, I include the command repeat times. So again, under the category pen, drag pen down. Under the category control, drag repeat and type in four times. Then under the category motion, drag move 100 steps and turn 90 degrees. Okay, now, my dear students, if you're having a hard time or if you don't know from which category you will see or get the blocks, all you have to do is to check the color of the given blocks. So, after completing this script and clicking pen down, you can draw a square or square will be drawn. Now, here's another exercises for us to make. So, for exercise 1, here are the steps. When the letter C is pressed, set the thickness of the pen to 5. Repeat 10 times the blocks. Under that, we have take 100 steps forward, take 100 steps forward, and turn 36 degrees to the right. So, a little later, we're going to do this exercise. Then, let's find out what will the result be. Then, for exercise 2, the steps are... When the letter E is pressed, put the pen in writing position. Repeat the blocks 10 times. Under that, take 20 steps forward, turn 90 degrees to the left. Make 20 steps forward and turn 90 degrees to the right. So, using Scratch application, again, first, under the category events, Drag when C key is pressed, under the category pen, drag, set pen size to 5 and pen down. Then under the category control, drag, repeat, and type in 10 times. Then under the category motion, drag, move 100 steps, move negative 100 steps, and turn 36 degrees to the right. And after completing the script, click when C key is pressed and you will see the result. Okay? And for exercise number two, again, go to category events, then type in when E key is pressed, then pen down, you will see the color, it's green, right? So go to category pen, then click pen down, then under the category Control, drag in, repeat, and then type in 10 times. Under the category motion, the color is blue. Drag, move 20 steps, turn 90 degrees to the left, move 10 steps, and turn 90 degrees to the right. After completing the script, click when E key is pressed and the ladder will be formed. Right? Now, going back with exercise 1. So, in exercise 1, after completing all the steps, what will the result be? So, here's the result, right? And for exercise number 2, a ladder will be formed. Take note, my dear students, do not forget to build the eraser block. Why? One, in order to delete all the drawings. And the second one is to take the sprite back to its initial position so that would be all my dear students but before i end let me just leave you the quote of the day which says success occurs when your dreams get bigger than your excuses that would be all thank you and have a great day